Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D CAD model of wrench or a spanner tool in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch. We'll sketch it at top plane. So select the exit plane, rotate the view. Now from here we are going to select ellipse command. Select this center point and make one ellipse here. Okay. Now go to dimension. Define this half as 27.5 mm and select this horizontal half as 25 mm. Okay. Escape. It is looking like a circle but it's not actually a circle okay now go to line command select the center point here from this center point make one straight line and make one horizontal line okay escape go to dimension define this line as 230 mm okay and the angle between these two will be 107 mm 7 degree skip so this ellipse is constrained now select this line make it construction select this also make it construction okay now here go to line command select this point and here we are going to make one center line so as you can see it will be perpendicular to this line okay so it will get automatically constrained you can see the pen, uh, perpendicular constraint here okay skip or otherwise you can track it the center point you can track it from this point as this point will be the center point 27.5 dimension point okay now take the offset command select this line as you can see it is selecting both the lines so right click turn off loop selection select this line drag it upside and give a distance of 12.5 mm okay similarly select this drag it down enter 12.5 mm and escape double click this and double click this okay now go to trim command trim this outer and trim this now from here take arc select three point arc select this point and select this point okay now go to dimension define this dimension as radius 50 okay and the center point of arc from this center point click on here we will take right click click aligned and here we will take 12.5 mm okay Okay, define this point also as 12.5. Skip. Now we will make the other side. Go to from here, we will select circle command. Select this point. Make a circle here of diameter 33 mm. And here, go to polygon and select polygon from here. We will select six sides. Select this point. Make one horizontal polygon and one vertical polygon. Go to dimension. Define this as 25. Skip. Go to horizontal constraint. Select this line. Go to vertical constraint. Select this point and select center point. Okay. It will be vertically aligned. Now go to dimension. Select this top point and skip this and select this edge okay now it is taking straight right click and click on aligned and here take 25 mm okay so we have two dimensions this straight 25 this polygon and this polygon the vertical polygon also 25 now go to trim command select this profile select this this we are uh, only uh, removing the inner profiles okay 
to give the proper profile to spanner select this 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 and this this okay so this will be unconstrained now we will work with this only okay so we have two profiles now go to trim command once again trim this profile and this profile okay escape select this line make it construction now we have two profiles here go to line command we will only make one sketch and join this profile escape select this line drag it down okay and go to horizontal constraint make it horizontal go to dimension define this 10 mm go to line command make one line here also go to dimension define this also as 10 mm skip now finish sketch we only uh, have one sketch here okay rotate the view now we will take different extrudes go to extrude select this profile and select this side profile and here we will take symmetric extrude and extrude distance as 10 mm press ok now we don't have the joining profile so open extrude 1 select sketch 1 and here we will click on shear sketch ok so this sketch will be visible go to extrude select this middle profile take this 6 mm and take symmetric ok so this will be a symmetric extrude of 6 mm this will be join and ok now select sketch 1 turn off the visibility select this face go to create sketch now go to project geometry and project this complete face now from here take offset command select this profile right click and here click on loop selection select this complete profile take offset of 4 mm inside and escape ok now take 3d model take extrude select this inner profile take cut and here we are taking cut of 1 mm press ok now take fillet command take a fillet radius of 4 mm go to edge selection rotate the profile and here select this all corners will make 4 radius ok and here click on this and the last one also this radius ok so this will be all round and ok now we will want uh, same profile backside also so go to mirror select fillet 1 and extrude 3 mirror plane go to origin and here we will select exit plane and press ok rotate the view same profile ok now go back to home now we are almost com uh, have completed the profile now select this corner take fillet take here a fillet radius of 30 ok rotate the view select this also as 30 radius now we have one feature if you want another radius here so just click to add and here change the radius to 20 ok now we have only one fillet here ok this was the previous fillet of 4 select here 20 and this side also 20 and apply exit so in this fillet 2 we have two fillets double click this we have one fillet of 30 and one fillet of 20 ok so the feature tree will have two fillets in one only ok go 
go to home now we will define the appearance from here we will take the metal finish so we will take metal 1800f hot ok update the view so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a wrench or spanner in Autodesk Inventor software I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you